Ciao everybody, my name is Valentina. I am one of the guides working for this great team, Walks Inside Rome. And today I would like to virtually take you by the hands and go exploring one of my favorite places in the world, not just Rome, that is technically there. You see, just beyond those trees, you see an arch. It is the arch of the aqueducts. The aqueducts built by the Romans about 2000 years ago. This is a moment uh, pretty complicated in which everybody is asked to stay home. Italy is totally locked out, but in a, a city like Rome, it is it's impossible to get bored. Everybody, everybody just looking outside their window can see amazing wonders. So let's go walking and exploring and dreaming to be surrounded by those amazing arches. The Park of the Aqueducts is one of the most underexplored uh, outdoor spaces of Rome. In fact, it's not right in the city center. It's a little bit far outside in the countryside, uh, connecting the mountains uh, that, like a circle, go around Rome and the city center. Uh, visiting the Park of the Aqueducts uh, offers a taste of the grandeur of the ancient times. Uh, uh, those incredible structures, those arches that probably you saw, you've seen in so many documentaries, uh, were built uh, to bring fresh water, drinkable water, to the city, into the city. And they supplied public baths, uh, private households, uh, fountains, uh, garden, of course, uh, farms. Uh, uh, Romans built in between the 1st century BC and the 1st century AD 11 aqueducts, uh, all taken from natural spring waters uh, distributed along those mountains, uh, so in a kind of circle. And uh, they, almost all of them uh, passed uh, into the same area. So in this park, uh, there are the remainings of six uh, over those uh, se 11 aqueducts. Uh, six of them are visible. Some of them run underground. In fact, the arches emerged to uh, face the valley where the ground was actually deeper than the conduit to keep the flow um, going at the same speed. They made those arches to fulfill the space uh, that existed in between the valley and the channel. So uh, right here, there's this uh, amazing line of arches, uh, 30 meters high, so about 90 feet. And uh, you still see the conduit through which water used, used to pass.